Hey everybody, it's Jared here at Big Pine Sports again. You may recognize this rock. This is where we shot that YXZ video. Um, we are up Dry Creek here, just a little ways away from our uh, hometown of Fairview, Utah. And we have been up uh, putting the double X through its paces again. Wanted to see how it compared to the YXZ, see what kind of feedback we had um, from the slow speed, very rocky, very bouldery, loose um, scenario up here on the trail. I've got my amazing daughter Lexi with me. Say hi, Lexi. Hi. Um, she came up, has been shooting some video and stuff for me. But a uh, couple of things. Um, in the YXZ video, we did talk about the low range. We did talk about the suspension and everything like that. Um, we all know that uh, video's been out, what, for two years now? Um, and for those that wanted to successfully do some rock crawling uh, with that vehicle, they had to put in a gear reduction kit. And we've done a lot of those. It turns that machine into amazing rock crawler. But right out of the box, um, this double X is killing it. Um, this thing is so smooth. Um, that was the first comment my daughter had. She's been in about every side-by-side -side out there, and we were kind of coming through some whoops on the way to get here, and she says, man, this thing is smooth, Dad, and there's no doubt about it. This thing is unbelievably smooth. They absolutely nailed the suspension. It's not full of hype. Anybody that drives this vehicle, whether you're a cat hater or not, you are going to love the suspension on this machine. So let's get back to the low range. Is the low range truly low enough to handle the nasty, rugged paces, the rugged terrain that we're able to put these machines through? And I am very pleased to say yes. Um, we have stalled this machine, or not stalled, but came to a stop on very steep inclines um, on this vehicle and been able to just slowly creep right out of that uh, steep position. Um, also this weekend, I've got a good customer, um, Scott Collard, that's down in Moab right now, um, putting the double X through its paces in Moab, and we're gonna have some more pictures and video to come from that. But what else are we noticing on the double X? Um, besides the, the low range is absolutely where we needed it to be. Obviously, the high range is phenomenal. This machine loves to be ridden hard. Um, higher RPMs out uh, through the dunes and through the whoops. It just, it just loves that high RPM. The sound of it is incredible. Um, we have been playing around with the Rugged Radio's headsets. What do you think of those, Lexi? They're cool. They're cool. She really likes them. Um, we've been able to you know, have some music jamming and be able to uh, talk to each other with these. So on the way back, we're going to be doing some other videos with top speed limiters and things like that. Um, we're still pretty confident that the only um, weaknesses of the vehicle at this point are um, how low the seat belts are. They rub on your neck. Seats are a little bit firm. We have not had an, any more um, issues with uh, tie rods, but... Uh, you know, if you're going to be doing some extreme, steep, nasty, um, Moab, rocky, ledgy stuff, you may want to look into upgrading the tie rods or sleeving them or something like that. But for most people, and I'm talking, you know, 95% of people, I don't think the tie rod upgrade is going to be necessary. But if you're one of those guys that are out totally punishing it, um, you may want to look into that. Other than that, no complaints. I mean, this vehicle is exceeding my expectations. I had high hopes for it, and it's exceeding them. So stay tuned. Um, we've got more coming out um, this week. Also, we will be in Moab the entire week after Mother's Day. We're going to be down attending uh, Rally on the Rocks. You're going to want to make sure and check that out. We'll have this machine out on every trail out there. We're going to beat it to death, we're going to push its limits, and we're going to have a ton of fun, and we're going to report back to you guys. So, again, BigPineSports.com, give us a call, 435-427-3338, or shoot me a text message if you'd like some pictures, links to our videos, anything like that, 435-851-3637. Have a great day.